best approach is from the back. Watch these wires. Headquarters, get us some more rigs here. Get medics here also. On with Stay in your vehicle. Back in your car. I'm drunk? No, I'm the captain. Huh? The captain. A what? Captain. Of what? The big don't reach in your pocket. Get back in your car. 116 show me 106 on Henry Lincoln Edward 497. Have a seat. I, I will. I'm not. You been drinking the night? I just got a ride. You been drinking the night, sir? I'm a captain of the police department. What police department? Oklahoma City. What division? Investigations. What are you doing pulling in here? My mom and I stay here. You been drinking? How much we had to drink tonight, sir? Please. Huh? I'm not turning my camera off. Okay. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we're not gonna get a return on it. How much we drink tonight, sir? I was at a poker game. Uh huh. Because you were swerving all over me when you turn off the you didn't use your signal. I'm sorry. How much you drink at your poker game? Not much. Not much? Mm -hmm. How much is not much? I don't know. Beer? Liquor? Yeah. How Beer. many beers? Three or four. Three or four? How long ago was that? It's been going on a while. How long ago did you drink your last beer, sir? What time is it now? It's zero one forty. Midnight. You think you should drive it? No, but I came from four blocks. Your mom your mom lives here. I live here. You live here? Yes. Car or anything like that, or you died or anything? I don't even know the wrong. Okay. I'm 19 years old, I ain't from If this is gonna cause problems, then the truck's over there. I, I'm just gonna take out the vest, and I'm from Tennessee. So okay. if, why are you wearing the vest? Well, like I said, I drove from all the way from Tennessee. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have people call me when I don't even live in this damn state. Okay. It's gonna piss me off. You're you're a deputy sheriff? I, I, well I mean I work at the sheriff's office. Okay. So I mean what were you a corrections officer for yes. the sheriff's office? Okay. Why do you wear a vest outside of the facility? Is this an I mean, agency this is, vehicle or is this your personal vehicle? This is my Kia. Okay. It's just a little odd because whenever I worked in the jail I took my crap off, especially if I was taking a long man, drive I from Tennessee. Exactly right, man. If I, if I, Look, I will tell you guys the I'm same thing. Have I have been pulled over so many times in Tennessee and Arkansas. Right. Okay. They know. I, I have told them every that, single that time. That might be true, but and it's Oklahoma's just a little pulled odd. Four two wearing this stuff. I mean, like it, it, every time I come up here, I mean, they like, they don't. All they say is it's just odd. I never see it. I was right. Like, well, I mean, like, well, guess what? Yeah, I like wearing it. Just like in Tennessee, I've got pulled over for it. Okay. Guess what? Yeah, I'm not saying it's against the law or anything. It's just. And I've even oh, had it taken off, and I've had it set right here before, and they're like, and I get I get yelled at for. They're like, well, yeah. it's kind of weird that you got your belt and your vest. You got any kind of employment identification? Dude, they don't give me that when you work at the jail. Really? You don't have like an access card or an ID badge or anything for the facility that you work at? I, I don't. I can, I can show you my face though. That helps you. I think I'm on.
I don't think I'm lying. I mean, well, so my only deal so is when you wear. Fine, County. There you go. Yeah. This Are you commissioned to stuff. carry a gun? I, I, um, no, I'm not even. You're not. No. Okay. I don't even have a gun on me. Well, you realize wearing the sheriff on your chest is basically impersonating law enforcement, is, is that, whether or not you're carrying a gun. Jackson, Jackson. Okay, but are you commissioned to be carrying a gun and hey, you have arrest power? I, I don't, what do you mean? I don't even have a gun. Just, that, that's beside the fact you're wearing a patch that says sheriff. Okay. I, I, that's impersonating law enforcement. I'm worried all the time at the jail before, though. Okay, well that might be true and fine within the jail, but when you come out to public, you don't have any arrest powers. You don't. You're not commissioned. I could, I'll just, Do you understand? I understand that. I don't understand what you're talking. And you got alcohol in the vehicle. Well, it's not mine. Well, that's beside the point. It's my girlfriend. But, and I don't drink, so well, it, it I, doesn't. It doesn't well, matter. You realize transporting open container, if any of that's opened or partially uh, missing, that it doesn't matter whose it is. If you're in the vehicle with it, you can be arrested for uh, transporting open, open container. Well, I mean, like I said, it's 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 not. I literally. It's not mine, man. She bought it. You, she lives up there in Luther. Have and you ever heard the phrase of when guys get hemmed up for drugs in their pockets and they say these pants aren't mine? You realize how stupid that is? Okay. Well, so I, let, I let's, I'm not let's stop to, saying I'm it, all right? To, I understand. I okay. I'm not from here, so. All right. All right. Tell me exactly what you just said. Because he was dressed like a cop. Yeah. He had a sheriff thing, but it had sheriff written on the side right here. Right. And I live on 62 off of Adam Road. He was sitting in a driveway, 251, right beside 62 Highway. And I pulled up and I was staring at him because he was in there kind of cockeyed. And I was like, we live on a one uh, one way in, one way out. And, you know, we always are watching for cars. And I sat there and I was staring at him. And uh, I stared about 10 minutes and staring at him. And I'm like, who the heck is this guy? Kind of odd. In, in, in our neighbor's driveway, and I sat there and stared at him and stared at him, and I drove off. And he got right behind me, so I followed. Him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's driving along. He was right on my, right on me. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna pull this on and get caught. This is from over there by the Harris Avenue, from there all the way down to Sonic, all the way to Sonic and Harris. Okay. And I pulled in Sonic. He pulled in behind me. He gets out, and I said, "Can I help you, sir?" He's like, "Well." uh, I was wondering what, what was your problem. You were staring at me over in the in the driveway, and I said, "Yeah, I was kind of curious who you was because it's kind of odd that uh, I didn't know who you was. I was kind of curious. I lived down the road. I was kind of see what was going on, and I was staring at you to see who you was." He goes, "I'm a I'm a uh, undercover cop for Wellston, and I run uh, my partner. I run with the Highway Patrolman out of Wellston." Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I said, so, uh, just be curious, uh, you look pretty young, how old are you? He was I'm 22 years old, just turned 22. I was like, man, you're pretty young to be a cop, be a, an investigator. Right. And uh, I said, uh, what brings you to be a cop? Is it like, uh, is it in a family or whatever? And he was trying to just talk to him. And he goes, yeah, uh, a lot of my family are cops and stuff. And that's what we come, I became a cop when I was 18. And then uh, he goes, uh, well, I got a call, I got to let you go. And then he left. And then when he left, he came towards, uh, by the, uh, bridge, uh, on a uh, turnpike bridge, and he took the Yui and was trying to pull another car, he started flashing his lights at him. Really? And I, I didn't know if, if they pulled over or not, but he was flashing his lights like he was trying to pull them over. I was like, that's kind of strange. Right. And I got home as well, I go and tell my wife, and I was like, man, this car pulled me over, and I was talking to this guy, and I was trying to see it, and she goes, well, yeah, because we got a cop friend that lives in Wellston. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call him later on when he wakes up to see it. Cause I think he works night shift to see if he's really that guy really a cop. It's just odd how he was acting. I got you. Can you hang out here for a minute? Yeah. All right. Don't go nowhere. Okay. All right. All right. Did you hear all that? <laughs> yeah. So y'all want him? Dude, that happened out in town, yo. Oh, true. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be ours. It, it didn't happen in Choctaw, so, but, uh, yeah, all right, we're taking it. First, let me get this guy to rest. Yeah, I know I'm going to do All right, turn around, face the other way. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for impersonating law enforcement, all right?
And then you also have a charge for girlfriend? transporting an open container. Oh, wow. my girlfriend could pick them up wrong. Uh, not at this time. Okay. You know how long I'm going to be in jail because I'm from Tennessee. Okay. okay. Well, your mom lives here, so well, I know that, I'm not too worried about that. Well, I mean... Alright, go ahead and step on out. I'm going to double check, make sure you don't have anything in your pockets or not. I'm sorry, we discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. They came out at me and I didn't know what to do. Lexi, I told you about this. But I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. It was not crying or nothing. What did you do to it? Okay, stop right here. Stop, stop. Number one priority, guys. Number one priority. If she just had a baby, I don't know if she's delivered the placenta, she's bleeding significantly. Yeah. I've spoken to the obstetrician at Loveless. They want her up there as soon as possible. Okay. I need I need your I obviously need your permission to transfer her for medical to she is She's nineteen. Oh you're right. You, but you, she is a student too. She's not still nineteen. You're, you're right. You you're right. She needs to I'm sorry, I forgot she's nineteen. Keep out of me. But you need to for to make sure that you're safe, I need to send you to left Loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay. Great. Okay. I'm gonna work on that. Um, in terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby, and it looked like you tried to hide it, we do have to have the police involved. And that thing was crying. It came uh -huh. out with that thing. I know. I know. But the the baby's gonna have to be taken for autopsy, and uh, mm -hmm. there'll be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But we need to do this correctly. Um, and I want to be transparent with you about what our steps are going to be. Okay. Officer, do you need to, do you guys need to talk to her before you get her transferred? How long is it going to be before you have the transfer out? I don't know. Are we working on this? Okay. Uh, Maria, so, do you think 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, hopefully, yes. Okay. 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 So I, got, I got a few texts on the way, so they're, okay. they're going to be talking to her. Okay. Do you guys have, I'm the charge nurse here, do you guys have any questions for me? Like how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nine months? Lexi was crying. Lexi, have you watched the news of the girls that, what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? Lexi was crying. Forty-nine arriving. We got a block the intersection. Anyone inside the vehicle? Oh no, I don't. Okay, I don't. I can hear it. Control four forty-nine. The vehicle is completely on fire. We cannot tell it. Hey, who is in this vehicle? I know that this car is completely on fire. Yeah, they, got here. They, got into it. they put out the fire. I, I know somebody brought it in there, but black, this is here run right here. Huh? This is here run right here, bro. Relax, come down. 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 Come Hey, let me do, let me do something. I don't know if someone's gonna be there. Okay. What I need to yeah. What I need now? They need medical right here. Uh, let me get tape. Fucking block this intersection real quick. Yeah. Hey, we got medical coming up. Okay. He needs medical, right? Hold on. I'm going to check the gun over there.
1449. Do we got more units coming here? Help us with uh, traffic. like something's off a little bit and so I've asked uh, officer Dean to come in here and visit with it has you you know um, have you taken anything that's you know do you have a prescription for anything that maybe you have taken today that just seems like you're not the same person that I talked to this morning um, I did take a I, I did take some medication last night to to help me with sleep because I have some anxiety stuff but that's that's, I can't think of the name of it right now, but I could look it up when I get home. Okay. So you haven't taken anything while you were at school? No. Okay. Um, now, one thing I would tell you is, um, you know, um, for your employment, I want you to, you to be truthful. Uh, okay. And so, um, would you um, be willing to take a breathalyzer test? If I needed to, yeah. Okay. You don't have to, but if you're willing to do it, that helps us. Have you taken any sort of medication today? I'm sorry, what? Have you taken any medication today? I did take some medication this morning for my anxiety. What did you take this morning? Um, I think it's called... Um, um, Quasipin? I'm not, I'm not very good with medication. Did you take it here at school? I took it, the, yeah, I took it this morning. While you were here? Yeah, right before I came in, yes. Please, please tell me so that we can, we can help you. I, I mean, I am, having, I, I am having a hard time with some depression stuff. And I, I, um. Did you drink something while you were here at school? Not while I was at school. When did you drink something? Last night. Okay. Not here at school? Because it seemed that it changed. I mean, your demeanor kind of changed. Anything here at school? Oh, I, I wouldn't bring it into the school. Okay. Are you going to blow double zeros? I don't know. You should know. If you hadn't drank anything, you should blow zeros. If you drank something recently, you're, it's going to show it. We'll just find out. You want to tell me the truth? How much you had to drink? I drank last night. There's no way you drank last night. Well, I did drink last night. Did you drink at school is what he's asking you. Tell us the truth. I, I, I didn't drink at school. That wouldn't blow that right there. You blew two times the legal limit. I did? Yeah. Here's our drink that you have. What's in this drink? That's a Diet Coke. Is there anything like liquor in it? Nope. So if I go into the classroom, am I going to find anything else? Stand up. Stand up! Can you just... No, I said I'm done. No, just, no. Can I just walk out without the hand? No. No, please just let me walk out. With no, it. it's policy. I'm not going to, I'm not... I, I, I'm going to cuff you up front. If you're going to keep running your mouth, you're going to get cuffed behind you. Wait, well, can I just talk to you for a second? Please. Please don't... Put me. your hands behind your back. No, I don't want to. Do you want to go to jail with no. multiple charges? No. Put your hands behind your back. Please don't do this. Please. I just want to talk to you. Can you just talk to me? Put please? your hands behind your back. Please. Just, will you just please talk to me? I, we've tr I've tried talking to you. Well, you you're, you're not talking to me now. It, talking's over. Well, what about my stuff? 
Okay, it'll get what you do to jail. Ayla, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Come here, sorry. come here. We're just gonna put handcuffs on just for now. I'm sorry, just pull your pants and I'm Where's the knife? Sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Julie, you better pray to God. He fucking hands. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. Where's the knife? Behind the apartment right here. You threw it where? I threw it out my window upstairs. Right not up not right there. It's the room. It's the other room. It's right behind the apartment. This apartment right here. So where would the knife be? On that side? Behind, right behind. Use yeah. The knife. Okay. I'm so fucking <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Mama. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. This is some demonic shit. Your, I'm hey, so sorry. What's your mom's name? <laughs> what's your mom's name? I gotta go with him. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the. F I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Come over here so we're out of the paramedics' way. I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry. Hey, what's your name? Get a seat for me. Sit crisscross on the grass, okay? Okay. Just sit there for a second. You don't have the knife on you, right? No, I swear I don't. I'm sorry. sorry. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. Right now, he's going. Huh? Oh, it's going to be a royal rumble. Come on, man. Get him out of here. Oh, it's going to be a royal rumble. You're on the good side. Royal rumble. Look at that. Hey, you're on. You're on the good side. Look at that. You don't want any trouble. You don't want any trouble. You don't want any trouble. Hey, 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 hey,
and you're not getting on the airplane, that can mess with the kids' heads, and it's just something we're not going to do. Well, I own 50% of an airplane. She, on paper, owns 25 of that, and majority owner, the, or owner, the, or the other 50% owner, and myself are both in agreement to not have her on the airplane. So 75% says we don't want you on the plane. That doesn't mean you get aggressive, push me out of the way, push start you, unloading my car. Push you out of the way? Yes, Lindsay. at the back of the car. Okay, Lindsay, I did not push you or anything. He doesn't want me to go. I raised the back to grab my kids' suitcases. So With a locked leave. car. So we could leave. Okay. I'm going to tell you both, like I told you a minute ago, y'all are filed for divorce, okay? In situations like this, the best thing that we always recommend is y'all separate. Don't just separate from each other. You don't need to be going on vacation together if you file for divorce, and it's obviously a volatile situation. That's right. That, I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to, to put it other than that, okay? Bye. Ready? Where are you going, bud? Come here. Come here. What? Come here. Stop walking away. Stop walking away. Come here. Hands out your pocket. Hands out your pocket. Go like this. You got anything on you, man? No. Stop running. He's running towards 114 and regaling. White t shirt! Red shorts! He's trying to get picked up right now. Just stay there. No, Just stay there. I want to take them all. Okay. I want to be in my pants. You wouldn't try me. Stay I'm in like, the blue box. No, hold on. Stay in the blue box. You. You want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. Stay in the blue box, Grace. Don't. Stay in the blue box. Step back. You can touch Step me. Step back. You touch me. Just stay in that blue box. No. Look. No. no. Yes. You don't want me here. You don't want me here. Stay in the blue box. No. Get the fuck out of me. Just stay there. Get the fuck out of me. You didn't catch my abductor. You didn't catch the person that slipped me into pieces. You didn't catch them. Stay in the blue box. You didn't catch me. Stay in the blue box. You didn't catch me, and you didn't catch them. You go let people slice and dice your community before you let them connect the pieces. Just stay in the blue box. Don't touch me. She? No! I don't need she. She is urinating I everywhere. Am, I Yes, all in the back seat of my don't, car. Yes, I did. All out because there. Because disrespect him. Fuck him. I take a test that's for, on the, no. Uh, Fuck the time. Alright, refusal. Alright. 1918. Right over here. Do you not understand? Yeah. I'm saying. I got you, I got it. I'm saying. I understand. I'm confessing saying. to your piss test. Right, I understand. You understand that? I do, I got it. But y'all didn't. Right, I, I got you. No. Oh, no, you don't. I don't. No, you don't. Right. Bro. No, you don't, bro. Right. I got you. No, you don't. <laughs> Stand by for a minute. Hey, hey, come stand right here at this window. Hey, how are we all hey, doing? Good. Can we clear the room? This is uh, Jennifer Davis. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, how are you doing? You too. So, we talked to Miss Davis a little bit about some reports that we've received uh, as late as this morning. Um, and so she understands and she, and she said she'd be willing to meet with you and talk to you. Okay. Uh, but we want to give you all some privacy too. So, is this a suitable this is, Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We'll just step out here. How you doing from there? I'm good. How are you? Oh, double stand of the week. <laughs> yes. So what's going on today? 
they said they had reports where I was drinking at school, which has never happened. Okay. When was the last time you had anything to drink? Uh, last night. Okay. About what time did you quit drinking? Uh, probably about 10.30. 10.30. How much did you drink? Just a glass of wine. Nothing major. Okay. All right. Well, would you be willing to submit to some tests? Yeah. To make sure everything's okay? Okay. I don't even know what that is. 0 0.06. Is that? You are just under the legal limit. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Under the legal limit? Just under it. The legal limit is 0 0.08, which is DUI. From a 0.06 to 107, you could be charged with but DWI. I haven't. Had anything to drink today? Uh, again, our, our policy and procedure state anybody that goes into that ship can be hanged. Yeah, the wrong to do. I'm going to work with you a little bit, okay? When you remain calm, we're going to handcuff you up front. Do what? We'll handcuff you up front, not in the back. That's fine. Okay? All right. All right, go ahead and put your hands in front of you with your thumbs facing up, please. What is my, I mean, what is my is this going to go, like, on the news, Mr. Kinsey? Chances are it will, Jennifer. I, I don't have control over what they put on the news, but there's a good chance that once this gets reported, then uh, there will be statements we'll, we'll have to release and notes we'll have to send home to parents, and then news reporters will probably show up. Uh, I will be as discreet as I can in, in terms of ha how I handle Could it. Could we... Please, I've never been in trouble in my life. I understand, it, but again, that's not not up to me. I'm not going to go pushing anything out there until they show up if that happens. Okay? You did not. But we we got, got to respond and, and you know, let people know that we follow our policy and had to involve the police department. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Relax. move. Don't move. Female custody. We're in the third department. Stand it up. Lean to the right. Lean to the right. Sit up. Stand up on <laughs> Back here? No, they was in the front by us. <laughs> she ran back here. Can I get my and keys? No. <laughs>
For what? Huh? Why are you running? Because she was running. They were chasing her. Who's chasing who? So you just start running? Yeah, that's not right. how that works. That's not how it works, buddy. What? Um, where's your car? Where's, where's your car? Katie, can you bring our car over to the front for this male? What? I'm a female in ours right now. All right, you want to put him in here? Copy, copy. Do you have anything on you? Any weapons? Any drugs? I'm putting this in front. Okay. All right. Where's the money at? Don't reach, don't reach. Don't reach for anything, dude. You got weed on you? I can smell it. I ain't got weed on me. You got it somewhere.